So here we are in Gmail, and we're going to go through a couple tasks for the Google Certified Educator exam, level one. And the first thing you need to be able to do is to uh, personalize your Gmail inbox. Now, the recommended Gmail inbox would be a uh, priority inbox. So if you want to go through your different types of inboxes, you simply move the, move the cursor over here, and you'll see this little drop-down button. Click this icon, and now you'll see a couple of different um, inbox types. First off, default. Uh, messages are arranged by category. So let's take a look. Here you can see primary, social, promotions, updates, forums. For example, the Google, uh, the Google Certified Trainers Forum, which I'm a part of. Um, let's take a look now at the next one, important first. This puts your important emails at the forefront. And if you go down and check them all out here, unread. Uh, see unread messages at the top. Starred first. Okay. View your standard messages at the top of. Uh, view your starred messages at the top. And lastly, the priority inbox. Uh, be a master of efficiency. This is the recommended inbox. So you can combine unread, important, and starred inboxes. It kind of combines them all together. So this is really the one you want to have. So you're going to click this here. And now we're at our priority inbox. Next up, we want to create a filter. Now, there's two ways to create filters. You can go through here, through settings. So first, click the you would click the gear icon, then you would click settings, and you can create a filter over here, and go to create new filter. That's one way to do it. Now, the second way to create a filter would be to go up to the search. So show search options. And here's where you can enter all the information. So let's say you want a filter from, for example, YouTube creators. So this will be one of your search criteria. Now you can also go to um, who's it sent to, subject, what words does it have, does it have an attachment. There's a bunch of different stuff here. But then go to create filter with the search. And from creating a filter, now you can see what you want. How do you want to filter it? Um, do you want to mark it as red always? Do you want to skip it to inbox? Do you want to apply uh, apply a label here? Um, send it somewhere specifically. Let's say you want to send it to um, Google Education. So now, whenever you get an email from here, it'll be um, applied to the label Google Education. Um, you can set up a canned response. You can categorize it. All the filters are right here. And all you would have to do is just simply click the box, right? Maybe you want it deleted. Uh, maybe you want it forwarded. Anytime you get something like that, you'd have to add the address. And simply go down here, create filter. And to go back, you can check on the filter, see if it's created. And here's your filter. If it matches YouTube creators, you're going to apply it to Google Education. Now let's say you'd like to apply a star icon to one of your emails, right? Because it's important you want to have this thing starred. So let's go down and let's say I've got here from uh, the Digest for Google Certified Trainers. I'm going to star this because it's an important email. It's got 19 updates and 12 topics. I'm going to press the star. That thing has been starred. And if I just go to inbox, just to sort of quick refresh, you'll see the star is added there. You could also take away a star. If I click the star, in this starred uh, box, press inbox again. Now you see that the star was uh, taken away. Now let's say you want to create um, some new labels. If you want to create a label, all you do is go to more, and if you look down at the bottom, it says create new label. So let's create a new a new label here. We'll call it um, press create. And now you see that here is your label, YouTube comments. So maybe I want to keep some comments that, that I got from uh, from YouTube. Here's one on, on a similar Google Certified Educator training. And you see that the YouTube comment label is on the side. So let's say I want to add this to the YouTube comment label. I can simply go move to YouTube comments. And it's been moved to YouTube comments. Let's click this here. And there it is can open it up and if you ever want to take it out you can just click this X right here you can go to labels and just uncheck it 
press apply and you can see that the box is gone here and it shouldn't be there anymore YouTube comments yep there are none and you can add as many labels as you want you can create another new label I'll just call this newer label create and there it is you can easily delete a label we just created this one called newer label I can remove it same thing as delete and lastly let's say you would like to search for something in Gmail so let's say I want to search for more uh, videos from the, the YouTube creators you can type right here YouTube creators and there you have a bunch of different emails but you can actually get more specific if I go here you can get specific it says YouTube creators and that means it has to be from YouTube creators let's search and now you see it's a lot more specific right so if you want to get more specific you just click this show uh, search options to get more options and then press search mail and I can get even more specific. I can, you know, I can go down here. I can do dates and, and times and, and attachments and things like that. 